Hi, I'm Dr. Nick. Check out this video as we evacuate a hematoma in a patient's leg and help heal a wound that they've had for several weeks. So this patient sustained trauma to their leg and developed a hematoma, which is a collection of blood underneath the skin and muscle area. The patient was taking a blood thinner, which makes them more prone to having a hematoma or bruising easily. So you can see what we're doing here. The treatment involves removing the dead necrotic tissue overlying the hematoma. And then you'll see what we do is evacuate or drain the coagulated blood or hematoma that forms. As you can see, it has a very characteristic appearance. Some people would describe it as a grape jelly-like appearance. And it has to be drained or evacuated because if not, it becomes stagnant and a dead space will accumulate under the skin and bacteria can grow and create an infection. You can see we're using a curette to remove any of this dry, coagulated bleeding. Now you'll see a pocket has formed and we're using our fingers or instruments to get the bleeding and coagulated blood from this pocket. If you don't remove the blood from the pocket, the same situation can happen uh, as you'll get bacteria that forms there in this dead space. And you almost have to look for these dead spaces because the bleeding will move its way through the soft tissue planes and create areas of dead space and hematoma collection under the skin. And you'll see here we're using our curette as a probe to look for any further dead spaces because if we don't evacuate them or drain any of this dried blood, it can create more problems for the patient and even cause more tissue necrosis. So instead of it being a wound this size, you'll see an even larger wound. It's very crucial that you use pressure to push out the dried blood because if any of it's left behind, it can create problems. And you can see here we're milking all of the hematoma out just to make sure we've got it all. And then we're going to pack the dead space with iodoform, which is gauze that's impregnated with betadine solution and this helps to prevent any further accumulation of a hematoma. And here you can see it a week later, we initiated a wound vac to help granulate tissue into the wound. As several weeks have gone by, we applied an aplograph, which is a bioengineered skin substitute, and we eventually went on to heal this wound. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more of our videos in the future. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below.